In this video, I explain the usage of the Mitsubishi Melsec system label utilization from the bottom up method. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Seller from Seller Press Control Systems. First of all, what is the system label utilization for? Well, it actually enables you to system labels that you created in the GX World 3, transfer them over to the Melsoft Navigator, and then from there you can use the system labels in the GT Designer 3 and also in the MT Developer 2. That just makes it easier to use your labels and not have to write any addresses or uh, use write the labels manually so you can use all the labels all over your Melsoft Navigator project and here is how it goes for the utilization of the system labels you need two preconditions the first one is the network configuration in the Melsec Navigator which I show you in a previous video the second precondition is the Ethernet port setting for the GOT, which you can find in the parameter from the CPU and also I have a separate video for this. And off we go to the utilization of the system labels, which starts right here here on the label the global label i have set up one label for you already which is already working and in the global in the global uh label setting you set a label which i named just my second label make this a bit and you have to give you have to assign an address to it otherwise it will not properly work and the next step is you mark this and res and make a reservation to register the system label right here once you marked that the label changes to a bright yellow and then you reflect it to the system label database you will have to confirm this uh, screen right here where it actually shows the label that you want to register and once the label is registered it changes to blue and the next step is you switch over to the navigator and on this lower left corner right here you will see a flashing star that kind of looks like an icicle and you make a right click on that one to confirm the update of the system label database push that and it also uh, opens a separate window where you import the labels to the navigator and once this is done you should be able to see it already on here and if you do this initially this only needs to be done for the first time you go over to the workspace system label and you push this button right here the root information routing parameters generation this needs to be done only the very first time that you create this system label and now you can already see if you got the the got the gt designer open it automatically updates your system label in the gt3 designer and it should be done any minute now checking for consistency and root information check 
Mm, I think that should be just okay. And now if you go over to the GT designer and also on your initial setup, on your first opening of the GT3 designer, you will go to tools and there is a label a system label update check that you need to uh, initialize the very first time. And then you should have all the labels in your GT designer already. Now, if we go ahead and just make a switch or whatever, uh, there we go. We open that and we look for the device. You push this three dot button right here. And then you can select the system label and you should be able to see actually two system labels. This is the first one that I already put in and the second one is right here. And then you just, imp you just uh, mark this for right here, import it and then you're all set with your system labels. And this way you got your uh, variable name in your GT, in your GS Works 3 and in the GT Designer 3 the same way and you do not have to work via any other variables and it's very easy to choose the variables as you can see right here. Uh, if you got more than these two, you will always have them displayed right here and you only need to mark them import them and then you're all set to go. Thank you for watching this video about the Mitsubishi Melsec system label utilization from the bottom up method and bye bye.